Hello everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to do the layered sandwich classwork for intro to graphics. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is head to our Schoology page and go ahead to Unit 1. And in Unit 1 we're going to scroll down to the assignment, Layered Sandwich. At the top it's going to give you some information about the assignment. And then at the bottom, there are going to be seven different images and files to download. So you might be looking at the pictures and see only six. The file I don't want you to miss is this one right here. It says plate.png. And it's easy to miss because it doesn't have an image that goes with it. But this is probably the most, or well, one of the most important ones because this is the Photoshop file. Okay, I know it's a Photoshop file because it says .psd at the end. That's the Photoshop extension. So in order to download it, I'm going to click on that file. And in the bottom left, you're going to see it downloaded it. And Chrome keeps it in the bottom left. I'm going to then slide it to my desktop. Okay, if you're working in like full screen, you probably want to exit full screen. Next, I'm going to go to the um, next ingredient and go ahead and click on it, this image, and I want to go to download image. Again, it's going to show up in the left. It's labeled one, and I'm going to drag it to the desktop. I'm going to do the same thing for all of the files here, okay? One thing you want to be mindful of is you want to make sure you click on the image itself and then go to download image. Instead of just dragging the um, thumbnail. If you drag the thumbnail, that only gives you a sample of the image or the thumbnail of the image. It's a common mistake here. Okay, got one more to go. I'll know I have them all if I check out my desktop and I have seven. The first thing I'm going to do is open up this plate. Okay, and let me quit Photoshop so I can show you. Okay, so I'm going to open up this plate, and when I open it up, it's going to automatically open up Photoshop. See it bouncing down there? Because it's a Photoshop file. Great. And now, if you look at the layers, I have a background layer and this layer that's the plate. And now I can add my ingredients. So we're going to start with the toast or the bread. So we're going to go to File, Place Embedded. And looking on my desktop, it's labeled number one. Here it is. I'm going to press place. Awesome. Now, right now, Photoshop is showing me that this is being placed into Photoshop. So it has a big X going through it and these transformation handles, these um, squares on the sides and in the corners. So what I want to do is let Photoshop know that I'm done placing it by pressing the check or return on the keyboard. My next thing I need to do is to rasterize the layer. I want to change the layer from being just an object to being a rasterized layer that I can edit. And we'll talk more in depth about what exactly that means, but it's a step that we need to do. So in order to do it, we're going to hold control on the keyboard and click on the layer that is the bread. And you'll get a list of options of all kinds of things that you can do with this layer. But the one that we're looking for right now is rasterize layer. It's not going to look like much happened here. There is a little graphic that changes in the bottom right hand corner of the thumbnail. But other than that, it's really difficult to tell that anything changed. And that's fine. So from here, I want to go to the magic wand tool. Okay, it's the fourth tool down. It lives with quick selection in this drawer. So you want to click and hold down and find Magic Wand. Magic Wand makes selections based off of color. So if I click the white background, eh, the entire white background gets selected. And now I can press delete. And what that's done is gotten rid of the entire white background. I want to deselect the bread, so Command D to deselect. I'm going to take the Move tool. From here I can move the bread around and I actually want to make it a little bit bigger. So I need to transform it. And in order to transform, I need to press Command-T on my keyboard. 
and from a corner now I can transform the bread. So there we go. I kind of like I kind of like it this size. I'm going to press return to let the computer know I'm done transforming. Let's do another one. File place embedded. We'll do number 2, the bacon. First step is to let the computer know I'm done placing it by pressing return or the check. I want to rasterize the layer by clicking control and clicking on the layer. Rasterize layer. And now I'm going to use the magic wand tool again to click on the white areas. But notice what happens is that the four corners are not connected. The outside isn't connected. So when I click on one area, it doesn't connect to the other one to keep selecting it. So what I need to do is hold down shift. And when I do, I have a little plus sign under the magic wand. So I can add to the selection. And then delete. Command D to deselect. I can take the move tool. Command T to transform. And when I'm done transforming, I need to press return or the check to let the computer know that I'm done. All right, let's keep going. File, place embedded. The next is the lettuce. Okay, I'm gonna press return to let the computer know I'm done transforming. Control click to rasterize the layer. And again, I'm gonna use the magic tool. You're gonna notice in the lettuce that there are some little holes that I wanna fill in. So I need to press shift to add to the selection. Okay, shift allows me to add to the selection. I'm zooming in using command plus. I can use the space bar to move around the canvas. I wanna go back to holding shift. And I wanna make sure that I get all those little white parts. Ooh, I missed one over here of the letter. There we go. And now I can press delete. Command D to deselect. And again, I can use the move tool to move it around. Command T to transform, return. Let's do some more. Let's look at the tomato together. So I'm gonna place the tomato and make it a little bit smaller. Okay, return to place, magic wand, rasterize layer, and delete. Beautiful, command D to deselect. I have my tomato, I'm gonna make it even a little bit smaller. Beautiful. Now I wanna add more than one tomato to my sandwich. So I could go back up and place embedded and place the tomato again, rasterize, crop it. I could do all that jazz over again, or I'm gonna show you a shortcut. With the move tool selected, I'm gonna hold down option on the keyboard. And if you notice when I do, I get two little cursors instead of one, a black cursor and a white cursor. Now I can click on the tomato and slide to the right or the left, and I have a new tomato right there. That's all we're gonna do so far for this video, so check out the next video and I'll show you the next steps. Can't wait to see what you create.